position right now to make history. And a lot of that history is going to be made in communities like right here. It's going to be made in Iowa for sure. That's where we're going to turn heads. The new documentary, country. Mayor Pete, brings viewers inside Pete Buttigieg's mission to be the youngest and first openly LGBTQ U.S. president. It premieres tonight at the Chicago International Film Festival with a special appearance by the film's director, Jesse Moss. And Jesse joins me very early this morning from Los Angeles before he gets on a flight to Chicago. Jesse, I know what time it is there, man. So seriously, thank you for getting up and talking with me. Good morning. Uh, I have a thousand questions. I'm going to jump right in. You know, at a time uh, when you have to imagine that Pete Buttigieg's life was a whirlwind, every camera in the country was following him around. How did you convince him to give you the kind of access that's really required to pull off a documentary like this? Well, Pete had a commitment to transparency. What you see is what you get. Um, we approached him when uh, he had about five staffers. I don't think he thought he would be a top tier candidate, um, but he was really open to the idea uh, of telling his story. And we jumped at the opportunity. Of course, we had no idea how far, how fast he would rise. Um, but he really lived up to the commitment. And we got an incredible behind the scenes look at what it's like to run for president. You know, I, I want to sort of talk about that openness because documentaries, by their very nature, really only work if someone is completely open and honest about everything. And sometimes politicians, particularly in the middle of a, of a campaign, sometimes want to play stuff a little close to the chest, uh, especially with a camera in their face. I was sort of curious, how difficult was it to get the, the level of depth you needed from him for this film to be a success? Well, I wasn't sure we would have that depth, but, you know, I went in by myself. It wasn't a big crew. Pete had seen my past work. He, he knew I was committed to a work of, of integrity, um, and he really trusted that and let us in um, behind closed doors um, in the room where it happens, as it were. And we got to see debate preparation, political strategy meetings. Of course, we were on the campaign trail in Iowa and other states, but I really loved my time in South Bend with him. I went home with him and got to know Chaston and their relationship. And really, that becomes the core of the film is that connection between the two of them as they kind of hold on tight uh, on this roller coaster ride that they're on. You know, you mentioned that, that Pete knew your, your past work. You did a, another documentary last year. It was actually one of my favorite films of the year called Boy State. For people who are not familiar with this film, it followed sort of a yearly camp held in Austin, Texas, in which a thousand young boys are gathered together to sort of form kind of a mock government and really how eerily similar it becomes to our current political climate. I'm sort of curious, how similar was Pete's real life presidential campaign to those of the ones you saw while filming Boy State? Well, great question. There were a, a lot of similarities. Running for office at Boy State is a little bit like running for president, although when you're running for president, it's for real. The stakes are high. And um, what was interesting to me was the themes of the two films, I think, are really related, which is what's it like to kind of bring, kind of bring people together to find consensus in our polarized country, which is extraordinarily difficult. And to watch Pete try to do that for real um, was really fascinating for me, a, a ringside seat to that process of knitting together all of the constituencies and the party that he would need to uh, have support him if he was gonna be a credible candidate. And you know, he did pretty well at that. It's really interesting. I think these, these two films are really interesting companion pieces. Uh, Mayor Pete is having the world premiere at the Chicago International Film Festival tonight. I'm sort of curious, when and where can people come out and see it? And also, do they get the chance to meet you since you're flying out here? I look forward to meeting people. I'll be there tonight to, with my producers, um, 8.30 p.m. tonight, Chicago International Festi Film Festival. And, of course, if you can't catch it tonight, it'll be on Amazon Prime on November the 12th. So um, streaming worldwide. Fantastic. And if you want to come out to the festival or you want to stream the film uh, from the festival, chicagofilmfestival.com for in-person or virtual access to the film. Jesse Moss, again, it is 427 in the morning where you are right now. Safe travels to Chicago later today, and thank you for joining us. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You know, I'd really